it's Jacqueline. I'm back. And again, I apologize for being MIA so long. Again, that was never my intention. So many things have happened in the last couple months. Uh, first of all, we ended up moving. We moved out of state. We had lived in Burbank for 15 years. So I'm sure you can imagine it was a ton of work and we were extremely busy. During that time, when we were getting ready to move, my son also tested positive for COVID. He contracted COVID at his summer outdoor camp. So yes, that's kind of where we're at right now. But I do wanna rewind and take us back to where I left off on my last video, which was when I was talking about Tall of Vic not tall of void, which I mispronounced throughout the entire video. And it was interesting because after it was edited and ready to go, I realized the mispronunciation. But of course, people let me know. And again, I apologize. It is tall of vid. So at that time, there were some anecdotal stories of Talavid helping people with long COVID. That was also the time, this was around mid-April. So if you guys have been following my story, I did get back from Mexico from having stem cells on March 9th. And I did have symptom improvements of chest tightness, shortness of breath, energy. I definitely felt improvement from the therapy. The one lingering symptom was still my nervous system felt a little bit wired. So I definitely was still dealing with that up to this point. This is the beginning of April. My husband ends up testing positive. He had been in London, so we assume it was probably at that time the BA2 variant. I did not test positive, but I did have a flare of symptoms. So I do want to go ahead and list my symptoms out. I had headaches. I had burning in my hands and feet. I had chest tightness and I had some GI pain, abdominal cramping stuff going on. So this was in mid-April and that is when I started to hear about Tolivid and I decided to take it. So just a disclaimer here, I mean Tolivid has not been approved for long COVID and I also was part of a case study. So a nurse practitioner did take down all of my data and what we did is we went ahead and reported out the clinical findings to the company on how I did on Tolivid. So just putting it out there, I did get four free bottles. Um, I also did pay for some of my own bottles because I ended up doing Tolivid for probably about a month. When I first started taking Tolivid, I would say within the first three to four days, I noticed complete resolution of headaches and the burning in the hands and feet. So I do feel that the Tolivid completely resolved those symptoms. The chest tightness and the GI, they were lingering a little bit longer than that, maybe for about three to four weeks. So again, I did stay on the Tolivid for about a month. I took the maximum dosage for maybe four to five bottles. Um, I'm sorry, it's all a little bit blurry to me. And then I did end up tapering it off. So I do feel personally that the Tolivid helped me. That may have been more for an acute infection. I don't really know. I never tested positive, but I did have a flare of new symptoms after being exposed to my husband. About end of May, beginning of June, I definitely started to feel much better. I even said some crazy words like, I am starting to feel the closest to recovered that I have felt in a very long time. So this was around the first week of June. <laughs> then, then as life would have it, my son ends up testing positive right before we're getting ready to move. So obviously it was very unfortunate. No one else in my family had any symptoms, but of course I developed symptoms. Again, didn't have a positive test, but did develop new symptoms. So that is where I am right now. So I am going to revisit some of my previous therapies. I am a big believer in stem cell therapy. So I will keep you guys updated on where I'm at right now and just everything from this recent infection. But the purpose of this video was just to sort of reconnect with you guys and let you know my experience with Tolivid. If you guys have any questions about Tolivid, if you've taken Tolivid, please leave some comments below. I love to hear other people's stories. And if anyone's did Paxlovid, it, also let me know. We keep hearing more about the rebound effect with Paxlovid and I just wonder what the long-term outcome is going to be from having those rebounds. So if anyone has taken Paxlovid or has any experience with that, also please leave a comment below. And I promise I will be back shortly and catch you guys up on this recent infection, which was probably, I don't know, B4, or BA5. So I've decided that I will be hanging out with Branch 
in the bunker. Peace.